Okay, good. It is recording. Hello, YouTube. It is I, the mega famous DJ Winza. I'll never get tired of saying that. If you want to know why, watch a lot of my older stuff. I'll explain it there. But anyway. Hello, those watching me on Monday. As you see, this is really the game. I'm looking the wrong direction because I forgot I reversed the camera for this. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. So, I haven't played it before except for, like, I got to try a, like, mini version or something at PAX East a few years ago. So, Dragon Mark for Death is a game I've wanted since then. I don't know much about the story, and I'm... Um, pretty worried that I won't know what character I want to play because they all look totally badass. But, let's... Ah. Let's go. Alright, as you see, nothing in a load game, but I did adjust the graphics because I had to. No way I'm going to be doing this on a tiny-ass screen. Alright, so... I don't know anything about the game. Other than it's an action uh, Metroidvania style game. And you get to pick between one of four characters. And I have no idea who I'm going to play first. But uh, yeah, it's also multiplayer. So if people do enough likes and I know they have the game, I'll probably play with you. But anyway, let's just get on with it. Oh, uh, contract one. There we go. Cool. Rarely certain enemies will exhibit unique... Oh, god dang it. Oh, what? Those are characters I probably have to beat the game to play. Alright, so... Empress. Uh, Empress is capable is a capable attacker at any range, with both projectile and melee attacks. Her sword attacks have an average speed and range and are easy to handle. However, these attacks should say attacks leave her open to attack she must stay alert when on the offensive in contrast when wielding a small sword she becomes highly mobile she can dance around enemies while nimbly making her own attacks the empress benefits from balanced stat growth okay warrior the warriors dragon guard provides a steady barrier for his allies but he can trade his defense for sheer attack power by activating Berserk. While equipping an axe, the warrior has access to skills to strengthen himself and benefits from a, an attacking style of managing distance from enemies while he charges his attacks. With a great sword in hand, he can unleash powerful combination attacks to keep enemies in check. Focus on raising the warrior's HP and physical attack stats to keep him alive and healthy while battling foes. Shinobi. The Shinobi's overwhelming mobility gives him a wide range of movement on the battlefield, allowing him to distract enemies while dealing devastating damage. His fighting style centers around his invincible Dragon Dash, Dashing into an enemy allows him to lock on and rain attacks on enemies from a safe distance. He can equip, equip both short-range kunai and long-range shuriken simultaneously, rendering him capable of adapting to any situation the party finds themselves in. The shinobi is well-suited to raising his agility and luck stats, but his HP is difficult to increase, making him vulnerable to one-hit KOs. Witch. The witch accesses a variety of magic spells by inputting a series of commands. Oh, great, so she's probably going to control like a Street Fighter character. Awesome. Uh, she can precision target enemy weak points by choosing the right element at the right time. In addition to powerful spells that wipe out enemies, she also has knowledge of healing and support magic to assist allies. The witch can also equip a magic focus that gives her access to spells that increase the capabilities of her allies. Okay, healer, buffer, ranged magic dealer. The witch suffers from very poor HP growth and a lack of evasion options, 
but she is well suited to increase her intelligence, which in turn strengthens her magic, unrivaled in attack and restorative potential. Okay. Um, I think... Screw it, I'll just go with Empress. She looks pretty boss. Here we go. Oh, I can change their colors? <gasps> Purple. Sure. We'll go with type A. All right. Uh, usually I name characters Winza. Don't have that much of a log of female names. Um, let's see. Man, all my best female NPCs were other people's characters. <laughs> um, screw it. Winzara. There we go. Perfect. Yes. Ah, my nose, it itches. Here we go. Contract approved, Groovy. The Oracle's Dragon skills, it's probably going to disappear soon. Oh, yep. What? The Astral Dragon once saved a tribe of people who were on the brink of destruction. <sighs> How anime. Receiving the dragon's blood, they became known as the Dragon Blood Clan. However, the world was dominated by the Divine Family and bathed in the light of the Celestial. The people of the kingdom bore a deep loathing toward the clan. For the kingdom! All for the Divine King! He's got a Thanos double sword. Thrall of the dragon. Be gone. Blah, 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 blah. I couldn't even read it. Fuck you. Come on, dude. Oh, my neck. Child of our own blood, you desire power. Vengeance. We are the Astral Dragon, Atrumum. Thy rage and grief have summoned us from our slumber. Upon this world's genesis, we suffered great defeat by the Celestial. Leaving the world to the humans in their new age, we did retire here. We have abandoned power and war, and yet there are still those who would pursue us. There are those who use power to enforce tyranny. They know f now force us to let our power be known once more. So shall it be engraved upon the divine family themselves who dare to rob the clan of their lives. 
while we yet live, we will not abandon the clan. The world! Oh! That is her arm! Thou now bear the power to enact revenge, and thy body is proof. There are none who can stop thee in whom the astral dragon's power dwells. The divine family stole thy home, thy family, and thy friends. Thou shalt judge them rightly. Okay. Dragon Blood Village. Quest start. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay. Uh. Okay, I can use the cross pad or the, uh, what, really? I have to go this way? Oh, it also has a timer. Okay. Now move onward. Oh. Okay. I was not expecting the enemy so quick. Nope. Chop you to ribbons. Okay. Destroy those obstacles. Smashy. Jump to reach the platform. Yay, tutorials. Dorky. I am quite dorky. Wait. Okay. Oh, that's what that does. Okay. Quality holy water. Q level one, okay. Get down there. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Sure, let's grab everything. Rainbow candy. Okay. Smashy. Yeah! What? Okay. I'm just gonna smash him. 
Oh. Oh. I poisoned myself because I am an idiot. Okay. Well, there goes... This is probably an antidote. Oh, raspberry bread. Oh gosh! Alright. Uh. Oh. That was my wife. Door key. Oh. Wow, she doesn't know. So for now, I'm just smashing them. Uh, uh, I like it so far. This is my my kind of game, so. Bye, goblin person. Nice. Uh... can't go down there. That makes me kind of sad. I knew it. Oh gosh. Alright, money, money! Uh. Another door key. What? Okay. I guess that's a pathway either someone else oh back off you need to die just give me the item so I don't have to stick around dang it Eep. all right door key I am such a dork. All right. And a, a question mark accessory. Uh. 
Oh, am I just not able to... I think I don't have the ability to check my shit till like the end of a level maybe? Stab, stab, stab. What was that? Screw it. I'll heal. Boost my strength. Nice. Oh. What the fuck are you? Oh, thank you for telling me. I am an envoy of the Celestial Primitus, sinner. Listen well. The Divine Family, who rightly worships the Celestial, saw fit to judge your village, and did so in consort with the Legion of Divine Knights. Thus was the will of those who live in this world. We do not interfere in such affairs. However, that you would wield the power of the astral dragon who opposes the celestial to avert utter disaster, the blaze of vengeance must be extinguished. Oh! Oh, boy. Hadouken! You have been cooked. A uh, question mark sword. Uh Okay. I have to complete the quest. Okay. Sure. Quest complete. And that took me 20 minutes for the whole thing. Oh wow. Ooh, nice. Okay, so let's see. Hunter's sword. Automatically a better weapon. And... I think I'm going to want to equip that over one of the other bangles. Enhance gem, I don't even know what they do. Oh, no. That just tells me what things boost. Okay. There we go. Okay. How many levels did I did I just get? I'm level five. Nice. Oh, uh. Oh, shit. I have four points to boost. Uh. I guess I'll go kind of balanced. And I'll go luck. There we go. Gah! You beat the Celestial Spawn? Monster! 
Who you calling a monster mother? The power that dwells inside thee is beyond the limits of humans, strong enough to consume souls. If thou truly desire power, feast upon souls without discrimination. Even that lowly creature, creates, creature possesses a power worth devouring. Hey, what do you want with me? I ain't even done nothing. N no, stop. Am I playing the baddie? Other than those who had journeyed from the village, only one other villager survived the attack. the dragon blood oracle Amika. She was spared and taken hostage by the Legion of Divine Knights. A dragon blood oracle is only born once in a century. What does the Divine Family want with her power? Thou wilt only understand their intentions by hearing it from their own mouths. Journey for the Imperial Capital in the kingdom of Medius, seat of the Divine Family's power. Hide yourself among the forgotten of the slums, those who have also suffered the Family's contempt. Okay. <sighs> Is this your first time in the city? Hey, no need for the death glare. You look like you've been through hell. Everyone here is the same way. Folks with some problem or another end up here all the time. Dude with a bird. Welcome to the glorious kingdom of Medius. Or Medius' finest slums. All hail Divine King Medius. We have open arms for all who come and no questions asked for those who leave. Everyone's got enough of their own shit to deal with as it is. Dang, they use the shit word. While I'm already going to going to the trouble, I, I may as well teach you a thing or two about life here. There's a bar near here where all the adventurers hang out. See you there. I think he's thinking... If she uses that weird arm, is it a hand job or a blow job? Okay, just skip everything. This city sits in the shadow of the capital. All kinds of folks wash up here. The people who end up here can only make a living talk, taking on dirty jobs from all over the continent. At this bar, the jobs range from finding lost pets to hunting the strongest monsters in the kingdom. The Divine Family only tolerates trash like us because we clean up after everyone else. You tell the young man you have business with the Divine Family. Business with the Divine Family? What could you... Well, whatever. There's no way someone that high and mighty would come down here willingly. Your only chance is taking on jobs and making a name for yourself. That could get you an audience. And hey, the harder you work... The better off this place will be, and more folks might even show up. So let's see what you can do. We're counting on you, for all our sakes. To get things started, head over to the inn and prepare for your journey. When you're ready, go to the bar and ask to take on a quest. Uh, complete quests offered at the bar and progress to store more quests can be unlocked by completing other quests. Speaking with townspeople... You can also join other adventures over the internet here. Neat. Uh, at the inn, here you change your equipment, chat settings, check your items. You can also switch to any created character. Oh, okay. Okay. Purchase new weapons. Up to two weapons. Neat. Accessories. Two at once. Eight. Reset your bonus stats here. Okay. 
Hey, aren't you a bl that dragon blood adventurer? I heard there's some new work at the bar. Somebody just came through looking for help with some job. All right, cool. A quest to go get a quest. Oh, I haven't seen you around here before. If you're looking to spend some time here, you should check into the local inn. Shabloof. Where am I going? Oh. Hey, come on in. Haven't seen you around here before. Is this your first time in the city? This here's the inn. Before you set off on a quest, stop by and get your supplies in order. Oh! All plus 10%? Neat! those are for okay good luck all right all right well i went o over a half hour for episode one i hope you guys enjoyed i am going to play episode two now while you guys aren't watching uh, if you do like this game, let me know. Leave a comment. Hit like. If you really like my crap, I also have a Patreon. There's a link in the description down below. I also have a, a uh, link to a couple of people that help me out from time to time. Go ahead and check all of them out. Um, I did not get the go-ahead yet. Although, if he, uh, if he sees this, and he probably will... Um, my one Patreon patron also has a channel. If he wants me to add that in addition, I will absolutely do that. Please let me know. I'm not going to mention people's names off the cuff. You'll see the helpers in, down below and the Patreon patron's name. Um, but, thank you for watching. Remember, wherever you are, whatever you're doing... However you're trying to mentally wrap yourself around having a head for an arm and whether or not that would be a hand job or a... Bl anyway, remember I love you all. But for now, I need you guys to get the fuck out of John's house. <laughs>